Hi, my name is Chris Schallert. It's good to see you today. I'm glad you're here because I'm going to share with you the Pareto Blitz. This is my main, most powerful tool for creativity and what I call rapid mass ideation. Now we're going to actually jump right into it. We're going to get you practicing it. And you're going to need several pieces of paper, pen or pencil, and a timer. And you're going to set the timer for one minute. You're going to pause this video and you're going to write as many things based on a prompt as you can. Don't write complete sentences, just write bits and pieces as they come to you. And here is your first topic. Pause the video and I will see you in the future. Greetings from the past. We are much poorer now than you are in the future. Now the Pareto Blitz works on the basis of the Pareto effect. You might have heard it called the 80-20 rule. 80% of the work done by 20% of the effort, or 80% of the work done in 20% of the time. Now, if we do this, we do this five times. The Pareto Blitz goes five times. And in the first one, you went from having nothing to having a good starter list, a good list of topics. According to the Pareto effect, after that, though, you start getting less and less actual work done. You're adding more details. You might be adding more bits and pieces. You might be refining something. But that's actually less work than the actual creation of the first items. So the Pareto Blitz, you actually do this first bit of item creation. You do it fast. You do it in short chunks. And you do it five times. So we're going to do this Blitz again. Use the other side of your first sheet of paper and write down once again on the same prompt for one minute, pause the video, and go. Phew. Now, this works for several different reasons, but the one I want to point out right now is what I call the microwave and slow cooker effect. Imagination, inspiration is a microwave, but good ideas are a slow cooker. You get your first ideas right off the top of your head, and they're great, and they're there, and you already know them, you're already thinking about them, you're already maybe even a little inspired by them, you already know a lot about them. You cannot discount those first things that come to the top of your head, but good ideas take time because good ideas are nuanced, good ideas are fleshed out, good ideas are combinations of a dozen different ideas. That's where the slow cooker comes in. Because after a little while of sometimes not thinking about it, sometimes just adding little details, you have a fully developed idea that comes out a day, a month, a year later. All of a sudden, ding, it's done and it's ready. And you have this great idea that took time to come, but you needed to get those first bits and pieces of ideas out there first. Now, we're not going to do a true Pareto effect. A true, par uh, true Pareto blitz would actually do this several times in a row, but we're going to move on to the next stages of it, which is choosing a topic to refine. So go from your first two lists and pick one that you know pretty well, and you're going to write based on this prompt for another minute. Pause the video, and I'll see you in the future. Wow, time travel is exhausting. There's also a reason that I make you use a pen and a paper for this. It's because when you are physically involved, very physically involved in the creation process, you are more creative. Your brain is combining things back and forth across hemispheres. Your whole body is getting involved in it. Creativity is a very physical thing. It's not just a mental process. Your whole body gets involved. There are studies that show that using Pen and paper ignites your brain more than just typing. Using cursive ignites your brain even more than that. But it's more than just writing down with a pen and paper. It's also taking breaks. You have to get up. You need to stretch your arms over your head. You need to take a short walk. You need to touch your toes. You need to move and refresh your body to get the blood flowing, especially after you've been sitting for a long time. We also do what's called task switching. It's not the same as multitasking. You switch your task completely. You go from writing your book or working on your art project or 
working on this piece of code that you don't quite get and you do something else for five or six minutes. You do the laundry, you do five minutes worth of dishes, you read a short chapter of a book, you read a devotion. It doesn't matter. You're getting your mind completely away from the topic. And if you're enjoying it, that's an even better reason to do it because then you spend those five minutes being inspired and thinking and looking forward to coming back to it. Now we're going to do, we're going to take your list and what you're going to do, again, no sentences, just bits and pieces. We're going to expand on the topic you chose just a little bit more. One minute, go. Phew. Another thing you have to keep in mind with this is that your first ideas are generally crap. They're inspired, no doubt, but they're not great ideas yet. You have to have what I call a second draft mindset. And that just means that you say, this first draft is going to be bad. So many people get hung up because they think their first draft needs to be the one they go with. The first thing they present to the teacher has to be their, to their topic forever and ever. And that freezes a lot of people up because then they go, I can't go back and fix this. I've already invested so much time into this. Or I can't go back and restart because then I have to do all that work over again. That's the power of the Pareto Blitz. You are gradually going through and coming up with ideas you know are going to be bad ideas, and you're going to come back and refine them. You're going to choose one that interests you, and you're going to take the time to personally dig into these issues. And it can be very difficult to do that if you're thinking the whole time, I need to do this right the first time. So now I want you to take two minutes and you're going to work on this last prompt here. Again, don't do sentences. Just write down everything you can as quickly as you can for this prompt. Pause the video for two minutes. Go. Videos are weird. And that is the outline of the Pareto Blitz. You're creating a ton of things fast to get a lot of little ideas that can later combine to become good big ideas. Thank you for showing up to the video. Thank you for taking an interest in creativity. This exercise turned my brain into an idea engine where I'm taking everything and I'm coming up with idea after idea after idea. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And hey, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll actually get these private videos free before anyone else does. And I'll be including worksheets along with that and other resources. I'm creating a small newsletter. I'll be sharing with you articles that I find interesting that I believe can help you improve your creativity as you go. This is Chris Schallert. I'm an idea engine. You can be too. Go out and create.